Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Glad you could join me here today, as always. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a cloudy, overcast day in St. Louis, Missouri today. Hope it's wonderful wherever you are in the world. Ah, my friend John is in Bogota, Colombia. I just told him I was jealous, man. Colombia is the land of beautiful women. If you've never been out of the United States, you need to get out of the United States. Although now maybe not the time because they're still <clears throat> pretty heavy with the COVID restrictions. I know I can't go to Colombia because you have to have the vaccination and I don't have it. So, but I'm hoping that they'll lighten up on that as time passes because we're not going to eradicate COVID and even people getting the vaccine are still getting COVID. So let's see what happens. But I was looking last night where I could travel in the world and there's not too many places you can travel without the vaccine. So with that being said, Colombia, Colombia, Bogota, Medellin, yeah, Cali, yeah, Cartagena, Santa Marta, where else have I been? Many places in Colombia. But everywhere I go there, I see beautiful women. I would have to say Medellin is probably the best place for women, at least in my opinion. Although Bogota has a lot of beautiful women also. <clears throat> and the women there are quite different from the women in the United States. They do have a little bit of westernization to them, but yet they realize they still need a man. Although I believe all women need a man. I'm sure some of you women would argue with me on that. But in the U.S., we have built systems and structures and put them in place where women feel like they don't need a man. They feel like they can make their own money and be protected, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But all these structures and systems were actually put together by men and are maintained by men. The police force is mostly men. I'm not sure what the percentage is, but it's pretty high. The high rises, the roads, the infrastructures, all put together by men. There may be a very small percentage of women that do it. Now, that's not to belittle women. Women have their place. Oh, I know that'll piss some women off. Yes, women have their place, just as men have their place. And men's place is to be building the infrastructures, to be in the police force, to be in the, be in the army, and these offer the protection and the security that allows women to feel like they don't need men. And in the reverse of that, men need women because without women, where would we be as a human race? We would die out. Humanity would become, what is it called? Extinct. Um, extinct. Yes. <laughs> Humanity would become extinct. Now, does that mean women are only good for having children? No, it doesn't. But Women are much better at nurturing and caring for children than men are. I know I raised my kids, my six kids, by myself for the last 10 years, and I cannot nurture and comfort and cuddle kids nearly as well as a good mother can. So the best atmosphere for children to be raised, I believe, as a single parent, a single father, is with a mother and a father working together together to give the children an environment of safety, protection, and stability. So there you go. You got men, they know their place. You got women that know their place. But it seems like we're getting that a little clouded here in the U.S. now with these many different genders, and I'm not really sure where that's all going. <laughs> that's a whole other video that I probably don't want to touch on. But back to Colombia. If you want to see some beautiful feminine women go to Colombia. And there's other countries in the world. I've heard, I haven't been there personally. I have been to the Ukraine. I met some really beautiful women there, nice women, uh, hard workers. They don't understand how a person cannot work. Like here in the US, I told them, I said, you really don't have to work in the US and you'll be taken care of. They don't understand that because they're going to school, living in an apartment with the girlfriend, and they're working, and they go to the gym. Uh, these girls were probably 26, 27, 28 years old. They could not grasp the concept <clears throat> that you could live uh, pretty 
pretty, uh, how do I say, uh, you could live a pretty good life without having to work. But there are many people here that do that. On my street, if you go down the street far enough, there are people that don't work and they live pretty well. Maybe rich compared to some parts of the world, actually compared to many parts of the world. But if you've never been out of the U.S., you don't understand that. <clears throat> you don't understand that if you live in the U.S., you live in paradise. You don't have people starving here in the U.S. unless they won't ask for food. I mean, we have a food pantry right up the street, and there are many food pantries across the U.S. where you can get free food. In other countries, they don't have that. If you don't work, you starve. In some places, there's no work to do, so even if you could work, you may starve anyway. We just don't realize how good we have it here. But, in the reverse side of that also, we don't realize how good it is in other parts of the world where there are actually women who will treat a man with the respect and, how do I say, the respect and honor he deserves for being a man. And in return, where men will, will treat women with the respect and honor in the same, in the same, um, how do I say, in the same aspect. <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's the word I want to use. The point I'm making is they respect each other's place in the world. They don't look down on each other. They realize that each of us have a part to play in humanity. And neither one is less or more than the other, but each one has to do his part. Men and women need to come back together at least here in the West. We, we have forgotten. It's almost like we're pitted against each other. Now, I'm not sure if it's the big consumerism that push for that, because women spend most of the money. I forgot what they said. Women spend 70 or 80% of the money, but men make most of the money. Now, think about that. But they want women spending money. They want women out there working. After World War II, when they had the women working there, they found out that, guess what? They can get more tax dollars. So that has something to do with it, too. I'm not a conspiracy guy, but these things motivate people. I mean, it's logical thinking. If you're a big business, you want more people buying your products. So you want more people working. When I was a kid, the mother stayed home, mostly, and the men were working. We didn't have two cars in every driveway. We didn't have these giant houses. We didn't have so much consumerism as we have now. But as I said, in these other countries like Colombia, if a woman doesn't have a good man, she doesn't have a good life. Okay, but here in the U.S., she doesn't have to have a good man. She doesn't think she does, but in reality, she does because the men, we still need good men to keep this society going, to do these hard jobs. Who are the concrete workers? We have an awesome, incredible amount of constru new construction going on around where I live, and I think it's across the nation. You do not see women concrete workers. That is hard ass labor. They have a hard time getting people to do that around here. I think, I know guys, contractors offer guys $30 an hour to work. They can't get people to work. That's pretty good pay. For a laborer, they really don't have to know anything. You just have to be able to work. You don't see women doing that because women, I won't say women can't do it, but it's pretty goddamn hard for them to do it. They, they can't, they cannot last a day doing that. For the men, it's pretty tough. A lot of concrete workers, their knees are trashed by the time they're 30, 40 years old. It's just tough work, man, back-breaking work. But the men do it, and men can do it. And that's what I'm talking about. Men know their place. In these other countries like Colombia, you got men that work down there. And you got women that appreciate the men that work. And they realize that with a man, they have a better life. Up here, they've forgotten that it's the men that have given them, them this better life. That maintain this society so they can have this life where they feel like they don't need men. When in reality, men are giving them the lifestyle that they have, even if they don't have a specific man, a boyfriend, a husband, or whatever you want to call it, a lover, they still need men, and we still need women. We all need to realize this as a society. 
It's not men against women. It's not women against men. We need to come back together and work together and build a society together instead of having this division. Well, that's my thoughts for today. Hope this is of value to you. And if you'd like to get my help personally, marksinspiration.com. Link is in the description. And smash that like button now. I'll see you later.